If you've ever used a Windows computer and saved or organized files before, you've likely noticed the first drive listed is usually the C drive. If you add a second drive or external storage, it nearly always defaults to D. But what happened to the A and B drives? In this video, we're going to answer that question. Please do subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps this small channel grow. In the early days of computing, internal hard drives were very expensive, as we can see here from this hard drive advert from the early 80s, for just a 10 megabyte drive. Given the cost of these hard drives, it wasn't uncommon for computers to feature no hard drive at all, and to run the operating system and programs directly from a floppy disk. In this example, we can see an old computer with two floppy disk drives. The first being the A drive, which the operating system was inserted into, and then the second drive or the B drive for programs and applications. If the user had no internal hard drive and wanted to run a different application, they'd have to remove the program floppy disk from the B drive and reinsert the floppy disk containing their desired program. In the case of the user having an internal hard drive, this would be the C drive by default, as we have today. So that's what the A and B drive were originally used for, but in today's world we don't use floppy disks, so why do we not just use the A and B drive first by default? The first reason is that over decades users have become accustomed to the primary hard drive being labelled C, changing this convention would create confusion and unnecessary headaches. If it's not broken, don't fix it is the thinking here. Secondly, and perhaps more importantly, Many operating systems and applications were designed with the assumption that the primary hard drive is C. Changing this convention would require modifications to some existing software. Understandably, developers don't want this unnecessary additional work, as it adds virtually nothing to the user's experience. Do you think we should switch to using A as the default operating system drive, or should we stick with how things are? Let me know down in the comments, and please do subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. And thanks for watching.